In today's show, we're talking all about how to have patience under stress as you build your business. This is going to be good. So let's go. This is for the change makers and rainmakers that are known for their leadership in business, their community, and the world. This is for those smart, classy ladies that can hold their ground in the boardroom, but still know how to have fun and live life to its fullest. Get ready to prioritize what matters most, maximize your potential, and experience the joy of owning a business that enables you to thrive. Welcome to the Entrepreneurial First Lady Show. And now your host, Giovanna Lady J. Ellison. Well, hello there, everyone, and welcome to episode number 35 of the Entrepreneurial First Lady Show. Yours truly here, Giovanna Lady J. Ellison, your certified leading business coach and friend along the journey as well. I'm so excited you are here because we are talking about a topic that affects all of us, whether you are building a business or not. Stress. Oh, We all feel it. We all have experienced it. We all know about it. There is stress. There's good stress and there's bad stress. All right. So the good stress, maybe when you're on the treadmill, you are sweating, you are putting your body through that vigorous workout, but your body is having great benefits because those good endorphins are coming out and you are feeling good, even though you're putting your body through a good stress, Mm, the bad stress, Mm, the bad stress. When you are burned out, can I get a witness? Can I get an amen somebody? When you are burned out sometimes, when you feel like you need to take a nap for an entire month because you have been going, 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 and it seems like it never ends. My friend, my friend, you are not alone. I have certainly been there myself. And so I'm going to talk to you today about just you know, how to have patience, how to do some self-care routines, how to slow down uh, as you build this business and how to handle it all. And and here's the thing, y- you can't do it all. You know, um, there's a quote that says, she believed she could, so she did. Um, I like to say, she believed she could, so God did. (laughs) I love that much better because, you know, when we are burned out, when we're stressed out, we don't feel like adding another thing to our to-do list. So you know what? Hey, I've got to give it to God and say, God, this is for you. Please handle this. Thank you. Amen. (laughs) Because it belongs to him. My friend, I can't wait to get into these strategies for you. But first, I want you to know, you know, building a successful business, it takes takes time, guys. It takes time. So many people want to microwave their success. You know, oh, just give me a, a four-step process, Lady J, and, and you know, all will be well with the world. <laughs> I can certainly give you four steps to this or four steps to that. But here's the thing. It takes time. It takes focused intensity. It takes hard work, a lot of hard work. It takes consistency. It takes getting a lot of no's, a whole steady stream of them. In fact, (laughs) I'll never forget before I really got to my highest month in my coaching business, I got a highest income month. I got a steady stream of no's, just one right after the other. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, that's okay. Oh, not the right time. Oh, I don't feel God's leading. Have you ever seen that video by John Christ about funny ways that Christians say no? (laughs) We'll have to link to it in the show notes. It's on my Facebook business page, but my goodness, it is hilarious. But I got a steady stream of no's, you all, but I had to keep pushing because I knew that a no now doesn't mean a yes later. And you've got to keep that in mind as you are building your business. You know, stress, if you take a no personal, if you take it as a sign of rejection, then that will add to your stress. But if you take it as a sign of, okay, I'm one step closer to a yes. Have you seen that movie with Jim Carrey where, um, you know, he asked a woman to date him and she said, there's, there's a one in a millionth chance that I'll ever date you. Right. And so he looks at her with a big smile and says, so you're saying there's a chance. (laughs) 
<laughs> and that positive attitude can help lift your stress. It can help you enjoy the journey so much better. It can, it just helps you in so many ways. So I want you to know that it does take time. And I want you to give yourself time and give yourself time by being re-energized. And I'm going to share these ways, you know, that you can help get your own self re-energized and help yourself just take time for what matters the most. All right. And let's get a pencil or pen if you're able to, if you're not, just go back and listen to this later. But number one is to slow down. Now, slow down, whatever that means for you. Maybe that's turning off your computer. Maybe that's turning off Facebook. What? You didn't know Facebook has an off button? <laughs> exactly. Turn social media off for a while. Go for a run. Go for a walk. You know, just step away from your, from your work environment. Do some deep breathing and do some personal affirmations. Get into the word of God. Get into the word of God and let him nourish you. Let him re-energize you. Let him fill you again because that's going to help give you life again. Um, do some stretching. Get in a place where you are able to uh, just find yourself again. You know, there's so many things that you can do. Another one of my favorites is take a nap. Yes and amen. Taking a nap. There's nothing weak about that. In fact, the highest achievers, the most successful people that we know out there, the titans, the millionaires, I mean, the multimillionaires and the billionaires, they re-energize their minds by taking naps throughout the day. You may be saying, well, Lady J, I don't have time to take a nap. I've got so much going on. You know what? You have time for what you prioritize. That's a tweetable. <laughs> you have time for what you prioritize. And if you don't prioritize yourself, well, then of course you'll never have time. You'll always fill that space with something else that can be done with somebody else's agenda, with somebody else's something that they have to get done. But if you prioritize that time with what you need the most, my goodness, that's going to help you in incredible ways. All right. Someone else, Terry from our community says she calls a friend to go have coffee or takes time to go for a walk or just sit and do nothing. Wow. How's that? Just sit and do nothing. Also, she can call her daughter or son and see if she can go hang out with her grandkids. They make her laugh and forget the cares that she is carrying. Yes, children have a way of doing that, don't they? I love it. Just getting around the children and just playing, just playing. No phone, no agenda, no nothing like that. Just playing. The other day I was doing some cultivating in my power sheets that I use with Laura Casey. If you haven't checked her out, go to cultivatewhatmatters.com. Incredible, incredible business and woman that she is. But I, what I decided to do is go to YouTube and I found, oh my goodness, I found the most amazing uh, cultivating music. It's the sound of the garden. And I'm going to post a link to it here in the show notes so that you can go back. And when you need time to stop, pause, breathe, and de-stress, you can turn this music on. You can come right back here to this podcast. You can turn this music on and it is going to absolutely give you life and help you slow down. Just take a moment with me and just enjoy the music of the garden.
as you are doing that, I want you to know that you can absolutely thrive and flourish and be re-energized. Yes, my friend, we all will experience stress. We all have those times. But you know what? No matter what, even if you're experiencing burnout, remember that you have a choice to prioritize what matters most to you. So go for a walk, turn on some good music, go to the gym if that's your thing, take a bath, do whatever you've got to do, you know, to slow down. Somebody even said they love watching whales on YouTube. How relaxing could that be? There is something for everyone that you can do to help yourself slow down down. So have patience as you're building your business and realize that there are peaks, there are highs, there are lows, there are valleys, but through it all, there's one thing that remains steady and there's one thing that remains consistent. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. He will never leave us. He will never forsake us. He will be with us always. Even in those high moments of stress, he will be there. My friend, as we play this music for you and you enjoy the sound of the garden again, listen to these words as we pray together. Father, I thank you. I thank you for my beautiful friend who is listening. Father, you know the stress that they're experiencing the heaviness in their chest, the fast pace of their breathing, and how so much has been happening. Father, I pray that as they breathe in and exhale, that you would take every care, every burden, every worry, every anxiety, and you would give them exactly what they need in this season to thrive and flourish in your garden. We thank you for this. In your precious name, amen. My friend, I believe in you. Know that it won't be like this always. Brighter days are coming. Remember that maybe you've been given your mountain to help show others that it can be moved. Where God guides, God provides. And where God directs, God protects. I'm so glad you joined me today. We'll see you next week. Thanks for listening to the Entrepreneurial First Lady Show at www.javana.com.